to everyone. Uh, I am Rabbi Howard Wolk, a community chaplain of Jewish Family Service. I work closely with Faith Presbyterian Hospice and um, privileged uh, that they asked me to share a, a thought with you. Hope uh, you and your families are well. Um, in the synagogue services, we're reading each Shabbat, each Saturday morning, now the end of the book of Exodus, which talks uh, primarily about the construction of the Mishkan, the tabernacle in the desert. And uh, the people are told that those men who are eligible for the army, those men over the age of 20, are to give a half shekel, a half dollar, if you will, uh, as a per way of doing a census to know how many men there are available uh, for the army. Uh, it says that someone who was wealthy could not give more. Someone who was poor had to borrow the money, a half shekel, a half dollar for each person. Uh, the obvious question is why a half shekel? Why not a whole shekel, a whole dollar? And one of the lessons is to underscore the connection between people that my half shekel is not complete without yours. And that uh, my involvement, my life, my commitment is not complete unless it's accompanied by efforts that I do on behalf of other people. And I uh, share this with you because uh, uh, just a few days ago, I had a very interesting, touching experience. Uh, I hope never to have it again, but I wanted to share it with you. Uh, the end of January, I received a call from uh, a woman uh, in the Dallas community, a uh, woman not of the Jewish faith, who told me that for some uh, 17 or 18 years, she and her husband and family had been raising uh, a Jewish girl. Uh, when this girl was 15 months old, uh, a friend made a connection with this woman who called me, and um, the mother was uh, on drugs and uh, was ready to abandon her child, and this family took her in and raised her for basically her entire life. Intermittently, the biological mother would come and take her away, uh, never allowed the, these people to formally adopt uh, the girl. Uh, the family, to their credit, wanted to provide uh, the girl with a uh, Jewish education. The mother was against it. Uh, so the family did as well as they could. Unfortunately, after graduating high school with honors and uh, spending some time in college, uh, this girl got involved with uh, bad influences, uh, was involved with drugs herself, and uh, tragically uh, in January uh, was actually uh, murdered. And uh, her boyfriend, so-called, has since been arrested and charged with the crime. Uh, the biological mother said quite mistakenly uh, that uh, according to Jewish tradition, a person should be uh, buried or cremated uh, within 24 hours. Unfortunately, the mother chose the latter option, which is uh, not part of Jewish tradition and very much against Jewish tradition. But the uh, caring uh, woman and her husband wanted to have some kind of memorial service for her. And that's why she reached out to me at Jewish Family Service. So just a few days, we held a memorial service. I sent out an email to members of the Jewish community explaining the situation, the very unique situation. And I'm proud to say that over 30 people from the Jewish community came and attended the memorial service uh, with uh, this girl's adoptive, so to call, uh, family, uh, high school friends, uh, college friends. It was really very, I have to say, very meaningful. I was privileged to play a part in it, albeit very terrible circumstances. Uh, the presence of people from the Jewish community really touched the hearts uh, of, the, of the family. And I think it really underscores this lesson of the half shekel, 
that this woman felt that her, uh, this girl she was raising was incomplete without a connection to the Jewish community, to the Jewish people. People, And although tragically it came following her, uh, her death, uh, nevertheless, we believe firmly that her soul is among those of her people. And the fact that we had members of different faiths coming together really taught us the powerful lesson that we should never forget that we are all uh, the children uh, of God. And we all respond to people's souls. And our task is to try to heal the ills that afflict people physically, spiritually, emotionally. And when we do that, we're really completing our own shekels. Thank you for your attention and be well. Shalom.